Hi, welcome to Loadrunner Tutorials. Okay, this is my third video. In this video, I am going to explain virtual user generator. So, we are going to understand virtual user generator, and that is a VUGen. So, VUGen is a one of the component of a Loadrunner package, which is uh, having a Loadrunner package is a VUGen virtual user controller. Okay. and the uh, second one is a load runner controller and third one is a analysis fourth one is a load generator so coming to virtual user generator so this is a view gen which is using for creating your script which is simulate real world virtual user okay we need to create different different steps for particular action okay so for that uh, check after opening uh, loadrunner you will see new community links support so i'm using uh, 11.5 so these are the different different updates it is showing web protocol support import correlations see every update it will see performance center business process monitoring okay coming to see here recent script means what are the script you have created previously it will display everything here recent solutions okay everything it will display so coming to menu you can create a script you can open script you can close the script okay you can save the script as all script okay reload the file user depend if you have any templates you can save you can import export so coming to these are the empty right these are the empty so coming to recent script and solutions here you can create it will show here everything Okay, coming to edit uh, so word count folding so let me create one script we will, then we will see everything will be available so here having multiple protocols okay and uh, single protocols so coming to web i am using simply web single protocol in multiple protocols you can select multiple say this is a checkbox is available in single protocol you can select only single so you can search from here the only web protocol will display so web is http for web applications so we will see how to write script for web services and rest api in coming lessons so i'm creating the script So when you click on create here you can mention as a solution name you want to function okay so this is a protocol advisor so we will discuss this one create if you create it will create the script see this is the action in virtual user initializations virtual user end and action under action it will three actions will be created so external files global storage so see the c file Runtime settings, parameterization, you want to do, replay, run everything, it will display. Come into actions. Okay. Action is nothing but whatever the user is performing the action in order to complete one transaction. Transaction means a number of steps user going to perform. Means suppose example, user want to transfer account from his account to the another nominee, another beneficiary. So in that one, what are the steps it will, this is a one transaction, transfer your funds to another account, this is a one transaction. In transactions, number of steps will be there, user has to perform, first of all he has to log in, okay, next one uh, he has to check the balance and he has to add the beneficiaries, he has to get uh, OTP to confirm beneficiary, then he will click on balance transfer and enter amount and select the sorry select beneficiary and enter amount then he will click on submit then he will get a otp then he will validate otp and click on transfer then amount will be detected automatically from the account and he will get a sms these are the steps which call as one transaction so in order to perform transactions you need more number of steps to complete the action so user actions user perform different different actions okay this is an action where simulate the real world user 
with real world user so that's why we are using action what are the actions you are creating or recording from here and load runner virtual user generator it will generate the script okay after that you know to correlate the dynamic values if it is having any dynamic values you can correlate you can parameterize means uh, data driven you want to run for a number of records to check whether the application is working or not properly to in order to check speed in order to check response time in order to check think time okay before running or creating anything you need to verify the runtime settings okay run logic how much suppose you have a 100 data you can give as a 100 so script will take the 100 test data and it will run every iteration so let's see iteration count these are the iterations counts number of times to repeat the virtual user actions okay default is one okay run logic the pacing so pacing is nothing but the so it is what are the iterations user has to perform if uh, one iteration is completed then again within as soon as possible next iteration is going to start if you want to change you can change fixed 50 seconds 60 seconds 5 seconds 50 seconds like as fixed we will have a fixed and random start and end time have fixed within this one then only user it will start the see, set a fixed random interval between the beginning of iterations now iteration will not begin until the previous iteration has completed even if at if it is surpasses the internal interval time so for a fixed interval specify the number of seconds after that only it will, it will start your next iteration come and coming to log into having a we are enabling the lab to to check what are the errors or anything warning is happening while running the script after that see send messages only when error occur or always send messages you can just standard log means a simple log you will see okay if coming to extended log you can check parameterization data written by the server advanced trace okay logs all of the virtual user messages and function calls click on okay coming to think time think time is coming so suppose user is performing bank account transactions after logging it will synchronize synchronization will be there right while loading your my account page so after click on login and loading what is the time it is there that is a think time means service is thinking that validating whether it is valid or invalid that that time is called a think time suppose you are opening one application so e-commerce which you want to purchase one product so first of all you will search okay after that you will um, check the product details so while checking the details you are taking some time to read what are the products beneficiaries okay specifications advantages disadvantages and the user reviews what are the rates so you have a discount so what are the time you are thinking to perform next action is purchasing that is a think time so you can ignore think time or replay think time as recorded so multiply recorded okay so these are the steps we need to perform so we will see in, in next classes we want to check this runtime settings okay <coughs> see extra files are created c language files the parameters nothing is there you can create parameters so coming to edit insert you can insert color guid you can insert format different different format okay show function syntax so coming to here if you want to see function syntax simply control shift space in action this is a int okay. simply click on next it will see and coming to view solution explorer these are the search results simply you can search okay for search simply you can use this one and uh, book mass outline step toolbar okay, this is a step toolbar you can use different different functions while you are running your script everything it will display 
first step navigator this is step navigator so while run while executing it will display everything so let's see okay thumbnail explorer properties you want to see action properties you can see action properties okay next we are having errors data grid task output layout normal these are the layout these are the layout you can change layout start page full screen okay and uh, you can see search options is the community design community design actions create and delete insert and skip ignore step start transactions in the transactions okay parameters star script design studio is disabled when you record the script then it will automatically enable so if there are any correlated values go to here and click on this one it will show everything so replay run toggle break points if you want to give break points you can give okay, like that you can give you can give break points so okay, everything it will display record you can want to record from here play save so everything it will display so test result you can see test result like utp you can go for run time settings from here also okay, you can connect to alm connection if you have any qc alm okay you can compare the script you can compare multiple script we okay, create controller scenario you can create controller scenario from here okay goal oriented or manual like this from here only you can control okay business process report everything it will display window help you can go from here help, help function reference usable links everything it will it will available in mutual users okay my previous topics i have given uh, details about how to record your virtual your script and uh, given how to prepare test estimation performance testing estimation so template i have provided you can go through that videos in coming uh, next lesson we will see we'll uh, see <coughs> uh, we are going to record the script for uh, hp has given some sample so here you can go to here uh, programs hta software load runner samples web even start web server to start web server this is started then uh, samples start something into here from hp load runner samples to applications it will when convert is refused to connect uh, channel proxy settings so i need to check the details okay so like this they are giving us a sample application these are sample application web tools you can create the script and record the script so okay this is about uh, function of virtual user generator in next session we will see how to record I already have given so in uh, next lesson so i am going to explain correlations values as well as uh, in uh, coming classes you will take parameterizations how to do parameterization to multiple run multiple test records okay so that's all folks uh, we will uh, check for uh, next video so stay you to load on tutorials please subscribe for more videos okay thank you thank you for watching